Hey everyone, today we are going to be looking at simplifying expressions. We are going to answer the question, what is an expression and how do we simplify expressions? So an expression consists of adding and subtracting numbers and variables. They do not contain an equal sign. That's very important because um, we do not want to move into doing opposite operations yet. So no equal sign, we are just going to be combining. We're gonna be combining terms that are like, terms are anything in the expression that's separated by an addition or a subtraction sign. And then we'll also have variables, which is just an unknown value. Usually it's represented by a letter like X, but it could also be represented by a symbol. And then a coefficient is a value that is in front of that variable. It's what the variable is being multiplied by. So if you have something like 6x, that means 6 times x, and the coefficient would be 6. And then a constant is a term with no variable, basically a number by itself, so something like 8. And then if we have like terms in expression, we can combine them. Like terms have the same base and the same exponent. So something like x and x squared would not be like terms because they have different exponents. And then expressions can be simplified by combining like terms. So let's look at a few problems. Let's identify the parts of the expression here. So our terms would be 9x, 8.1y, and negative 10. Just everything that is separated by the addition and subtraction sign. The variables would be x and y, those unknown quantities, and the coefficients are the numbers in front of the variables, so 9 in the 9x and the 8.1 in the 8.1y. And then the constant here would be negative 10, since that is the number by itself. All right, are these terms below like or unlike? These are definitely unlike. 5x and x squared are unlike because they have different exponents. They have to have the same variable base and the same exponent to be like terms. All right, are these terms below like or unlike? 80d and negative 2d, these are like terms. because they have the same base and exponent. There's no visible exponent on it, but these each have an invisible exponent of one. So that's why they have the same base and the same exponent. All right, number four, they want us to simplify the expression. So we're just gonna combine like terms. So two y would combine with the positive four y and two y plus four y is six y. And then negative six would combine with negative eight and negative six minus eight is negative 14. So six Y minus 14 would be the simplified expression there. Okay, let's simplify this one. The M is going to combine with the other M and M plus M is two M. And then the negative 8n will combine with the positive 8n, and that is actually a zero pair. So negative 8n plus 8n zeroes out. So the final simplified expression is just 2m. Okay, let's simplify this one. I have three y's that are going to combine, three y terms that will combine. 5y plus 9.1y minus y. And I'm just gonna type that in the calculator. Remember this has an invisible coefficient of negative one. 5.5 plus 9.1 minus one is 13.6. So I'm gonna have 13.6y and then I'll combine the constants, negative 4.4 plus 15 is 10.6. So I'll have 13.6y plus 10.6. 
Okay, I have an expression here. I have 2 thirds x minus 1 plus 4 thirds x plus 3 plus x squared. I'm going to start with the x squared. It is most proper to put that highest exponent first. And the x squared doesn't have another like term to combine with. So that's just going to be x squared. And then I have... 2 thirds x, that'll combine with the 4 thirds x. Those have common denominators, so that should be easy to add. 2 thirds plus 4 thirds is 6 thirds, and 6 thirds simplifies to 2. So 2 thirds x plus 4 thirds x is just 2x. And then lastly, I have the constants. Negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2, so I'll put plus 2. So this expression simplified into x squared plus 2x plus 2. All right, last one, it wants us to find the perimeter of the rectangle. Remember, opposite sides are congruent. So that side would be 12, and then the side across from this one would also be 2x plus 3. So now I'm just going to write a long expression representing the perimeter. I'm going to add the four sides together be 2x plus 3 plus 12 plus 2x plus 3 plus 12. And 2x plus 2x, those are the only x's there. 2x plus 2x is 4x. And then 3 plus 12 is 15, plus 3 is 18, plus 12 is 30. So 4x plus 30 is the final simplified expression there.